Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Steven again. This is uh, him. I just want to make a video, okay, about um, about today and the world and the, that we live in and everything. Um, um, basically, the, the state talks about you know how and um, I know a lot of people don't like talking about politics or whatever, but uh, they should have an all no fault insurance out there to make some money about tripling the tax, car tax, I think, and um, as much money as they have to fill to uh, to fill in all to fix the city's uh, streets and everything like that, and put in bridges, put in uh, brand new uh, things, you know, and ticket people for tickets, you know, that shouldn't be there, and people park there, for, you know, like limited times or just smell like five minutes and get towed away. I mean, think of all the money they're rocking in there, and uh, all the. I mean, what they should do is make gambling legal online, like maybe make it on Facebook too for money making things, and because um, they say California six trillion dollars, no, no, sixteen trillion dollars in the budget crisis, right? The w one way to raise the money I could think of, only way I could think of is another way is by. Uh, well, hell, I mean, think of, don't cut education, you know, that, I mean, well, I mean, how much more can we cut education and we are cut education? We're cutting education left and right. Um, there's a lot of programs that we've already cut out. But look, how many parks do we have to close down, number one? Number two, actually, we've closed down so many parks. I mean, that's not going to solve the problem. I mean, all the fun places to go to Santa Monica and... You know, it's ridiculous. I mean, close down all the... I mean, look who had to save the Hollywood sign, for Christ's sake. So one guy paid so many millions of dollars, I mean, to save the Hollywood sign, you know? You know, we need to find a way to keep on bringing money in. I mean, Nevada does it. I mean, no discrimination on states, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm not much of a politician myself, okay? I'm in medical, like I said, medical stuff. Medical student, you know, yeah. Okay, I'm not a polish, politician, but I, I am trying. I'm just thinking of some ways, you know, to make it easier for the person that can't afford auto insurance for number one. Okay, they, my mom even said this before she passed away a long time ago. She used to joke around about this, too. They should make a no-fault insurance. Pays with your tags. You pay it with your tags every year, a small amount of money. <laughs> you pay it with the tags, and if you get an accident, you know, it's already on your, but you already got insurance on. I mean, I mean, it's called no, no fault insurance. You know, I don't even know how it works, but she knows how it works. But she's not here to, to tell me anymore about how it works anymore. So I'm so just, just the idea. You know, that's one way to make some money. And there's other ways: make some fundraisers, bring some bands together. You know, draw some money for the cancer society too. Also, you know, and um, I mean. We're, looks like we're going back into the mafia days. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Back in 1929, when they had a depression, millionaires, my mom told me, okay, well, she wasn't born in 1929, but she told me, my, well, my grandma told, me, told her and stuff. We had millionaires going broke overnight, and they would shoot themselves in the head just because they're going broke. Now, let's wake up, America. Is this the kind of America that we really want to have could go into going to hell already. I mean, it's already gone to hell. Most of it already. The promises and the promises we're gonna have this economy get better, and by making drugs illegal is not an answer to to supply and demand as far as business and opportunity. Because if we make it illegal for okay people that's in pain and need health care, I agree with some of what he says. Number K. Okay, let's say we make Vicodin illegal. Okay, what does that do to the economy? Let's say we make Oxycontin illegal. What does that do to the, econ to the economy? This makes you want to go out and buy heroin, right? Off the street, right? So who gets rich? The drug dealer does. Okay. Now, now there's there's a little, there's no difference really between a drug there's a little bit of difference well yeah there is difference between a drug dealer and a and a company a company is a franchise that trades with other companies and makes big better deals I can't tell you all details because it goes farther deeper than that 
I don't want to say any more to get us me in trouble. But anyway, um, I mean, there's things out there you don't even know, guys know about yet that they're using to experiment on animals just to find out if it works on humans, guys. I mean, you guys already thought, already know that already by guessing at it, guessing games. You see it on the news. I see it on the news. I mean, I'm learning just like you do. Okay, it's common sense. I mean, there's got to be a way to make some money out there. That's $16 trillion. It might, it's going to take an awful long time for California to pull its ass out of the hole. <laughs> but we, we can do it if we try. we got to want to do it. These promises that Obama makes to us, I'm sorry, Obama. Okay, this is a little bit towards you. I'm, I don't want to make any slurs, nothing like that. It's nothing about your color, first of all, because I voted you know, for you. But this has nothing to do with your color. Okay, this has something to do with the promises that you made. When you make a promise, like Arnold Schwarzenegger did, okay, he made a promise. He couldn't. He couldn't supply and demand. He's white. Okay, he's a honk. Well, you don't call him honk. You fine. Whatever. Okay, he <laughs> he couldn't make any more of a promise than than you could. Okay, it don't matter what color you are. Okay, the yellow, green, or red. My, red is my cocus. Okay, it turned into a liar. You know. You got to make sure you go follow through with the promises. Yes, we should help health care. Yes, we should, you know, make health care for everybody. It don't matter if you're small, black or white, or, or small or medium or large, or get a large Coke or whatever. Okay, I'm going to ask a really qu quick question. And I don't know, I mean, there's a lot of people out there, and I would like their opinion on this. Okay. When, what date, for the record, did we ever start caring about uh, Proposition 29? When did it ever come into effect about this stuff, on the stupid stuff we see on TV about smoking? Oh, I had a stroke, and it, you know, this, this smoking ad caused me to have a stroke, and I'm saying, laying in your bed, this could be you, and all this other bull, blah, 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 blah shit. Aren't you tired of seeing that kind of bull's crap? I mean, they show the. I mean, yes. I mean, there's a lot of things, and the environment is killing us. I mean, God, how many nuclear plants do people live next to? How many wire? How many more uh, things do they got to build? How many more highways they got to build into an in intersection to where you make a right-hand turn or or the wrong turn and goes into one high one lane and where you smash into somebody and kill somebody? You know, how many more drunk drivers do we have on the road than we do at marijuana smokers? I mean, really, you know, we're not getting really anywhere, are we? I mean, yes, we have to, we have to, we have to build the money somehow. You have to work to get money, and any way you have to work, you got to work. <clears throat> okay. The bottom line is, no matter if it's right or wrong, to make the money, make the freaking money. Money talks, shit walks. Okay. Sorry. That's just the way it goes. I mean, I guarantee if some mafia big shot comes walking into a politician's office, they're gonna get some attention. I guarantee you that right now. Italian or white or black, no matter what you are. Or Sicilian or whatever, okay? Or same thing, Italian. Okay? That guy, that man's going to get some respect. You know why? Because he has a, a, a military background under his belt. Or I mean, he has some smarts under his belt. Or he has a black belt. He has something he knows that we don't know. Secrets. Okay? And mentality. A high mentality. Very smart person, okay? Now, what we need to do is, I don't like raising taxes, number one, really. It's hard to live as it is. Truthfully, I know there's a lot of people saying out there to raise taxes, get over with. Okay? Two over $200,000 a year are people that could pay the taxes, pay all, everything for you. But, you know, a hardworking man don't even see a freaking paycheck as it is, much less than the pay, I mean, they don't see a vacation anymore. I mean, gasoline has quadrupled over the years. Over the years. I can sing the song too, many, many times. I mean, we got to figure out a way to do something to where it's comfortable for every single person out there. I mean, I know it sounds like we're living in a, I'm living in dreamland here, but you know what? If we don't try to do something, we're not going to get any further, any closer to getting this fuck, I mean, this freaking, uh, problem fixed all we're going to do is it's going to cause more worry it's going to lead to trauma more aggravation more uh i don't care attitudes more or less firemen more or less police officers 
I mean, look at, for example, look at the beating. I mean, I'm making excuses up. It might sound like to a lawyer, lawyer might say that has nothing to do with the case. But you know what? I have a point. Look at the police officer beat the hell out of that uh, guy that was on the side of the road. Just land, I mean, he was a homeless guy. Yes, he didn't work, okay? There's no reason for me to judge him any more than you do, okay? He didn't work. He was just sitting on a freaking bench or whatever, waiting for a bus maybe or something like that for a ride. And he was just minding his own business. And his Bill of Rights got violated. I mean, he got the shit beat out of him and he got killed. The guy put on his gloves. The cop puts on his gloves. Intended to kill the guy. Okay, just to show off like Steven Zagal guy. I wish that guy wasn't. I wish that homeless guy was like Steven Zagal. I like to see the officer get his ass whipped. You know, because turn the tables around. We have dirty cops out there. They're not out there to be your friend. They're out there to, to hurt, to harm you, to make it disgrace you. I mean, it don't matter if you're black or white, like Michael Jackson says. I mean, they're down to pull your pants down and see what fucking size you got. Whatever. I'm sorry. Blank that out for the kids out there. I'm serious, man. I mean, freaking, it don't matter what the sausage si sausage size is. It don't matter what you got in the, underneath the hood of your car. I mean, yes, I mean, it sure does when it comes to burning gas, though. The more gas you burn, the more money that the consumer they make. You know, you think, I mean, gosh, we're living in the real world here, man. I mean, I think there should be a way to raise some money and find a no-fault insurance, something that raises a little bit of money. You have to pay every year with your tax. Now, with your, at the same time you get your tax return, you pay your license fee and pay a, 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 the DMV or whatever with all-in-one groupings, just like they have cable now with the all-in-one, uh, what's it called, uh, bundle plan, where you pay your, your cable bill and everything. Pay the insurance with your uh, with your uh, DMV thing all at one time. So there's a no-fault insurance. So even though it's your fault, they can do that. And they have less time to pull your ass in the court. And more less time to mess with judges. And it costs the state of California and the state all the states more money for bullshit lawsuits. You know, saving themselves a lot of money for that. Because they're sure racking up a lot of money for a lot of bogus stuff. How much fraud and how much stuff is going on in this world, you don't even believe. I mean, there's people when it's in jail pulling pull millions of dollars just by making a phone call to their nephews or uncles and saying, I need 40 or $50 on a green uh, a green refill card, you know. You know, because somebody else is going to jump me if they don't give it to me. I mean, if you don't give me my card or give, give me the 16-digit number off the card, that's how simple it is. That's how drugs get in and out of prisons, is by using that card. It's legal, too. All you have to do is go down to a 7-Eleven or a Walgreens or a Walmart and go and buy, buy it. For $50 on it, they charge you a $5 fee. Okay, the store does, not not the jail or anything. The jail doesn't even know about it. All you do is call up the cell phone number in the prison, in the jail, and it's simple. I know that much because I know how it works. I've been, I have the buddies to do it. And it's called extortion. You're extorting. Your extortion is extorting. I mean, if they ever catch you, the prison will throw your ass in prison. Okay, there's millions of dollars being spent there in the prisons. They're gonna be letting prisoners go pretty soon anyway. In case you know it, pretty soon they'll be letting them go. So, this is enough about politics. I'm just saying the world coming's coming to an end. So, it's gonna gonna break once soon one day. So. I mean, we don't have much money for disaster, much disasters and everything now. I mean, look at all the bombs being sent over here. I mean, it's getting ridiculous, guys. When are we ever going to have any peace and harmony? You no, know, we can't worry about everything, you know what I'm saying. But we do have to watch your back. That's the bottom line. This is not no terrorist threat. Not like that. It was just a warning to people out there, you know. we got to find an idea or make an idea to raise some money. But we can't do it by ourselves. We have to all come together as one. Just like they did in that song. We are the world. We are the children. Michael Jackson said. And so did Lionel, Lionel Richie. I'm sorry. I said it wrong. Okay. That's what we need to do again. We are the world. We are the children. Okay. That is the only way we can bring this together. Bring up this trillion dollar deficit disorder. 
me and not being a president of the United States, I okay, that's the only answer I have. I can't talk blah 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 health care. I mean, yes, health care is important, yes, this is important. Marijuana should be important, yes, and he has but made gays. Fine. That's fine. That I I believe that sh that should be passed too. Okay, and the people down me for saying gays is okay. You know, it's not my business, okay? It's not my political, it's not my business they want to be gay. Let them be. Let it be. There's a song by Beatles, I think. Let it be. So, and that's the way I look at it. Let it be.